to present the Mathematics Award, Mr. Mike Marchetti. I get to go next. Um, Tucker, I hope you asked Ms. Brooks for a recommendation. <laughs> and uh, my relationship with Sherry uh, forces me to give her a uh, joking compliment, which is, I was said it'd be a snowy day in April before you made me believe anyone would even read one of those books, let alone love them. <laughs> Uh, I do want to express my gratitude uh, in being able to address an audience of seniors and their family members who value and, and act to promote not only education but also challenge and perseverance and growth and really some other things that are coming to light today of kindness and thoughtfulness and humility are very prevalent in this senior class and it really inspires us as teachers. Uh, and it's really challenging for a department to choose one person when we've been so impressed uh, with exceptional math abilities and passion for this subject. So, as usual, I revert to numbers. Uh, the numbers 19, 41, and 13 come to mind here. Uh, 19 is the number of pages that most of you probably read from Brothers K, actually. <laughs> it's also the number of seniors who won awards at a math contest during their time in high school, including four who were finalists in the high school mathematical contest for modeling, which you'll hear about more in a moment. Uh, 41. I've been told that's the number of events in history that you must know the dates of. Uh, it's also the number of seniors who completed calculus while they were in high school. And 13, uh, the number of times as a senior you visited the counseling office for advice this year. It's also the number of times Mr. Link typically mentions the release of the next Star Wars movie per class period. <laughs> and it's the number of seniors who took linear algebra and differential equations in high school at the only high school in Iowa to offer the course. So, again, it's challenging to pick someone to earn this award. Um, we. This year's winner has taken all of our math courses through calculus, BC, and linear algebra and differential equations, and four years of advanced math problem solving. Uh, he's won awards at math contests in Wisconsin and South Dakota and all over Iowa, and he's the only member of the senior class to qualify for the American Invitational Mathematics exam. In fact, only 12 Iowans qualified this year. Uh, in some other extracurricular mathematical arenas, uh, the awardee participated in six math modeling, con math modeling contests these past two years where his team worked anywhere from 14 to 120 hours to attempt to resolve very complex real world problems. Uh, his teams were named finalist in the high school mathematical contest for modeling this year, top 30 in the world last year in the international mathematical modeling contest and even turned professional this year by earning $1,000 earlier this month due to a top 36 finish in the MathWorks Math Modeling Challenge. Um, that means they spent their Saturday writing a paper entitled Alleviating Food Insecurity based on a mathematical model they developed in 14 hours on a Saturday. Uh, their abstract says that this is what they did on that Saturday. They, one, developed a yield index to indicate if a state generates enough food waste to feed its food and secure population, two, created a model that determines the total waste of any household based on traits and habits, and three, evaluated a series of strategies in Polk County, Iowa to redistribute food and consider the extent to which local government should invest. They were done by 7 p.m. Uh, <laughs> I also have this quote from a recommendation that I wrote, and I'll paraphrase. I guess it's not a quote, it's paraphrasing. Uh, he will become a change agent, not merely a leader, and his passions and aptitudes make him among the most likely of students I have taught to leverage his math abilities to make a meaningful, positive societal impact. Those are some of the top accomplishments of a long list, and they are why it's such a pleasure to offer this award to the only person who didn't dress nicer today than he does on any other school day, Kevin Lee. <laughs>